Hey Joy, wanna join me for rosary? Oh, it's okay. God probably doesn't want to hear my prayers right now. Why would you say that? I was swinging to my friend Vanessa today. Vanessa, you mean the one you always study with? Yeah, I got annoyed with her when I was studying today, and I see something rude to her. Was she hurt by it? Yeah, I tried apologizing to her, but she's still quite mad about it. Oh, that's rough. But why would you say that Jesus doesn't want to hear a prayer? Because he's probably angry with me too for being a bad friend. Can I talk to Jesus? Or is he mad at me? Can I talk to Jesus? Will he set me free? From the guilt I'm feeling in my heart I just want a brand new start As my shame increases Will Jesus talk to me? Hi friends! Have you felt the same way as Joy before? We all make mistakes and do things we shouldn't. Have you ever felt so guilty you don't even want to talk to Jesus? I sure hope Joy feels better soon. First, how about we draw something fun with our friend Grace? Welcome to Art with Grace. Let's try something different today. This is easy, right? Let's start with you. Remember to draw you as you. It could be something like a ponytail or a cap. Often, we feel like we are very, very far away from Jesus. This is Jesus. Especially if we have sinned and we feel like mm, no one will forgive us. But often, if we approach Jesus with an open heart and a heart that is also repentant, then suddenly Jesus isn't so far away anymore. Why? Because he loves us and he's always, always there with open arms. So that means that's you again. That means Jesus is always ready to love us and accept us as long as we want to do the right thing and we want to come back to him. That was so much fun. Now let's see how Joy and Jerry are doing. I'm sure Jesus isn't really mad at you. How do you know? Just now during mass, I tried talking to him, but I felt like he wasn't there. Maybe it felt like he wasn't there, but I'm sure he was. Then how come I didn't feel it? Well, maybe you didn't open your heart to let him in. Open my heart? Like surgery? No, 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 no. Then what? How do I open my heart? I didn't even know it was closed. You know how you didn't want to pray with me? Because you thought Jesus was angry with you. Yeah. That's how I knew your heart was closed. Oh, that's how I felt during Mass too. See, you don't have to feel that way. Jesus will listen and forgive you as long as you come back to him with your heart wide open. Just like the prodigal son. There once was a man who lived with his sons, two of them at first, till one went to run. He took his inheritance and ran far away and spent all his money all night and all day. And once he had spent every single last cent, he saw what he'd done and started to repent. He went back to his father, broke as a fob, and got on his knees to beg for a job. Rejoice, rejoice, said the father with glee, for my son was lost, but now back with me. He hugged his son tight, and once he'd released, he took him inside and they had a great feast. The prodigal son shows us that God will never stop loving us and wanting us to come back when we're lost. 
Yeah, and all we have to do is come back when an open heart. Is your heart open? For sure, bro. I feel so much better. That's great. Yeah, I was embarrassed about what I did, so I didn't want to face Jesus. But you didn't realize that he was standing right there, waiting to welcome you with open arms. Yep, okay, let's pray the rosary. Okay. I can talk to Jesus, he's always there for me. I can talk to Jesus, his love will set me free. No matter where, however far, you welcome me with open arms. He will never leave us. Jesus, I believe. That's right. No matter what we've done or how far we stray, Jesus will always welcome us back, as long as we repent and open our hearts to accept His love. Hope you had as much fun as I did today. See you next week. Let His love complete you. Oh, nothing can Love of God. Live, love, live the love of God.